Thank you, Doug, for sitting down with me. Absolute pleasure. Thanks for uh, being a, a, a supporter of CSJ at this meeting. Yeah, no, well, thank you for uh, for taking time out. I know it's been a busy couple of days, well, a few days now, but we just uh, wrapped up the formal portion of the meeting. You've been doing a lot of talking the last few days. You've been on stage constantly, so I appreciate you uh, taking this time. Now, having stepped in to your position as executive director for CSGA, you're, you're one of the youngest executive directors in the industry. If you could go back and talk to your even younger self and give them a piece of advice, one big thing that you've learned since you became executive director, what would you, what would you tell the younger Doug Miller? <laughs> I think I'd tell him to take some time and celebrate the victories. You know, looking back over the last 12 years, we've had tremendous success at the association. You know, we'd launched seed cert, now we're doing digital tags. But, you know, as an organization that's on this treadmill, it's very quickly to get an accomplishment done, check that checkbox, and then keep on moving on. So for us, if I was to look, take a time machine back, it'd be to take some time and celebrate those wins because we did a lot over a long time and be able to reflect on them and learn from them and see how you can be better in the future. Yeah, well, you have done a lot, and that leads me into my next question. It's been a big, big year for CSGA. You're here literally on the edge of Canada for your annual meeting. This is the first in-person annual CSGA meeting in four years, since 2019, yeah. since before the pandemic. With this meeting, you're taking a real global approach in terms of the agenda. OECD, AOSCA are both represented here. Uh, Sylvain Charlebois, the food professor, spoke about key industry trends and opportunities that seed growers and the seed sector in general can capitalize on. We heard from Wendy Yan, regulatory modernization is a huge theme. That's just a small taste of what was discussed here. What was the thinking behind making this event sort of bigger and better than ever, you might say? Yeah, well, we wanted to come back with a bang. You know, it was a, we had a, a great uh, last few years virtually, but we know this was a great opportunity for our membership to come back in person, gather. You know, we, we heard many panelists talk, uh, you know, just about the grassroots CSGA. And, you know, we wanted to put an agenda that would, that would start to stimulate the conversation that we're going to need to be able to move us forward. Um, you know, what worked for us in the past wouldn't work for us in the future. So not resting on, you know, past successes, but you know, really starting to push the envelope of some of these discussions. Big part of what we do at CSJ is international harmonization, making sure our standards are, are internationally aligned, competitive. And so you know, bringing the leaders of the international seed certification community to Newfoundland was a big deal for us because we wanted to have our membership, people have those discussions about like what's happening. You know, we wanted, we, through the SRM process, we saw that, you know, there, was a, there were a few question marks, things like genetic testing, drones, you know, just like what is the role of cert seed certification moving forward. So it's a good opportunity for us to have those conversations head on with the people that are steering those organizations. So again, great agenda, really happy with the turnout. We had a record, uh, we had the sellout crowd here. And so I think our members appreciated the agenda and, you know, we'll see what uh, 2025 has in store. As I said, CSG is up to a lot right now. You launched CSG Learn, which is a prof professional development platform for seed growers. Your digital seed tag pilot project is underway. You completed a huge review of the requirements and standards relating to breeder seed. There's a lot going on there with regard to your breeder seed regulations. Let's start with the digital seed tags. Why are those significant? Yeah, so if you look at our new business plan, digitization is a big core of that. So over the past 10 years, you know, CSJ has made strategic investments in digitization, and the digital seed tag is really the, ne the next evolution. When we look at what customers and uh, farmers are, are looking for, they're looking for more information. And so this digital seed tag is a way of us being able to reimagine that static blue tag, that mark of our, of our system in a new digital first way. You know, a farmer purchasing seed in the future will be able to interact with their tag. They'll be able to scan a QR code or, you know, hit an RFID chip within the tag. That's going to be able to unlock information that was per that was previously in data silos. It wasn't connected. 
So being able to A, validate that that is a legitimate seed source, and then being able to get access to additional information, things that may help to be able to facilitate the sale of seed. So looking at allowing seed producers and seed companies to voluntarily uh, upload things like germination certificate of analysis. It's really about creating a foundational piece that the whole sector can leverage. We're looking at how this technology is going to be used at the breeder and select level to be able to showcase it through the SRM process as something that could be a solution for the whole sector. CSGA Learn, this is a real first for CSGA in that CSGA is becoming more than just a seed certification body, but it's an organization that now provides professional development opportunities, educational opportunities for its members. Why did you develop this program? What was the vision behind that? Well, CSJ, we are, you know, uh, an organization that has had a 120 year history. In that time, you know, we have been offering educational pieces, but what we wanted to do is, is really take that up a notch. You know, we heard today from our next generation panel that online learning is really important. So what we, what we wanted to do is provide a framework and a platform for that next generation of seed growers, seed company, officials, plant breeders, government officials, anyone that wants to be involved in the certified seed system, that they have access to uh, an easy to use platform, be able to get this, the knowledge and expertise that we're gonna need for this next generation seed system. So again, this, this is a new platform that we're also tying into our regulatory uh, mandate as well, you know, looking at how we can leverage the, the, the educational components to be able to reduce time, to become a select, uh, select plot grower, being able to uh, have it as a part of the plant breeder uh, requirement. So making sure that next generation of plant breeders in Canada know how the, the seed certification system works and then how they can excel within it. So again, great foundational piece. We're looking to expand it in the future. Um, and to, to be able to meet the needs of the sector. Now, Doug, before I let you go, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention seed regulatory modernization, SRM, those big three letters that we're talking about this week. CFIA recently conducted its first public consultation, the winter consultation as part of the process. Now, CSGA is aspiring to take on a greater role in Canada's seed certification system. It's, it's a big vision. It's called your, your 2.0 vision. It's a big plan. Uh, I think our readers are quite familiar with it. Mm -hmm. I've written about it many times before. When you and I sit down next year at the annual meeting as we get closer to the eventual conclusion of SRM in 2025, considering this, this big vision that CSGA has, where do you what do you see CSGA being this time next year? Yeah, I hope uh, you know we're further along the SRM uh, roadmap. But you know, I hope what we what what I need to be able to do in the next year is engage in conversations with our key st stakeholders. And, you know, it's important to have them engaged in the process, but we also need to be selling CSJ as the modern regulatory partner that our industry needs. You know, we talked yesterday about the gap between the current regulatory environment and our ability to execute for industry and, and our stakeholders and members. So moving forward, we really start, we're going to have to make that business case a little bit more for our partners to say like how we can help them and be the regulatory partner that they need to be able to thrive in the sector. A lot on the agenda and I'm looking forward to the meeting again in a year, but it's lunchtime now. Looking forward to the conclusion of the meeting. I'm sure you've been very busy. So thank you again, Doug, and uh, looking forward to doing this again. Thanks, Mark. Appreciate it.